Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Paper Mario. In the last episode, we got started with the final chapter, chapter eight, and made our way all the way up to Bowser's Castle. We've been exploring it, and now we've gone to this one path where they're finally letting us through, as easy as that. It's a hall in Bowser's Castle. I wonder where it leads. We have to hurry, and yet, we should also be careful. That's the duality of it, isn't it? We're pretty close to a level up at the moment, even though we're a little low on like health and stuff, so I'm hoping that things turn out okay. But I wonder which way we go. We could go this way, or we could go up. Maybe we should go up. It looks a little bit more enticing. Uh, sure. What's up this way, then? Right now, not much. Huh. Okay, there's a door over here. Is this locked? It looked like the kind of door that would be locked, but I guess not. Ooh! Here's the storage room for Bowser's castle. It looks like one of his subjects is selling his stuff. Haha. <laughs> oh, I guess so. What? Who are you, man? I don't know your face. Maybe you're Mario, huh? <laughs> Just joking. I'm, I'm the guard of this warehouse. I'm really, really bored, man. Hey, you know, I've got, uh, if you got any coins, I'll sell you stuff. Sure. Oh, you're loaded, man. Take a look around, I'll sell you anything you see. So he actually doesn't allow us to, to you know, check our stuff in our inventory, so. Don't know if there's really too much I want from him at the moment. Cause we got a decent chunk of stuff at the moment. Uh, I don't know how full our inventory is anyway, so I'm gonna leave it. Maybe we can come back later. Yeah, okay, so what do we got over here then? Anything? There is another door. It's a covered hallway. I can sum up the decorations in two words, pure Bowser. Such dark colors and drab lighting. What, what terrible taste. Oh no, Kamek, okay, I was not ready for any of that. Luckily, nobody attacked first, really. But here we go, this is where we really gotta focus on making some progress. So I'm thinking, I could finally tattle on those guys. I don't know if it's worth it at the moment. Uh, we know they have eight HP, so you know what? Let's just go for this. We're going to power quake them. Well, that would do four damage. It might just be better, especially since we're gonna get a star restore once we get our level up. So let's try this out a little bit. We'll switch over to somebody who can attack all of them at once. Probably Cooper, I thought that's a good move. Yeah, because now they're all down to four HP, so basically anybody would be fine. But anybody who does multiple people attacks. So, because uh, I really don't want them to duplicate and become invincible like they did last episode, and it made no sense on how I could beat them. So Cooper, if you want to help me out with this, just do a power shell. I'm pretty sure that does four damage and not three. Yeah, okay, it doesn't hurt that guy though, so that's actually a bit of a problem. Ah, oh, I didn't realize he was gonna jump. It's fine though, because we definitely have enough points that after we defeat these guys, probably should put more effort into doing that, but it worked! Okay, we're fine. Look at that, eight star points, which means we have leveled up. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and up our badge count. Our badge points. Might be our best bet. Don't you dare, I got you! Awesome, that doesn't happen too often and it does nothing. So now I don't know if we want to, oh, this is a lot of enemies. I'm really thinking we should. Either that, if we look here and we double dip, we could do shooting star, oh, but we don't actually have any more lightning strikes. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Let's try the mystery bag on Mario though. It doesn't affect the opponents. Okay, let's do shooting star. Ooh. So that's gonna do six or seven damage to everybody. Wow. So six damage, yeah. You know what? That was only one, right? So, don't double dip. Yes? Oh, but did it still use the FP? It might have, oh well. <laughs> Live and learn. Um, I think that we will switch over to somebody who can attack multiple people at once a little bit more easily. We could either do Lacky Lester, or Spike, or Sushi. Uh, let's try Spike, because I think this is slightly less FP than the other one. So let's try Spiny Surge. Come on, there it is, that's so easy to do. Whoa, only one damage each? Why? That was weird. That's not good at all. Oh, what's he gonna do? Okay, he powers up that guy, luckily he's already attacked. I won't put this guy up here. Ah, oh, see, the enemy's transparent. I don't know what to do about that but everybody else is quite defeatable here, I think. See, that's the weird thing. Why did it not, you know, I don't know. 
for right now, just to be sure, we'll try Sushi's Tidal Wave. I know it won't get rid of the other guy, but A, down, A, B, A, ah. Uh. But I need to experiment at this point and figure out what in the world's going on, because that did five damage. The other one, I don't know. Weird. And once again, this guy's invincible, and I don't know how we can make them untransparent. There's gotta be a point in time where it eventually runs off, but how long do we gotta wait, you know? All right, well, maybe now's a good time to like refresh a little bit with Mario. We can heal up basically what he does in terms of damage, so that's nice at the least. And then with Sushi, we could lower, or we can up Mario's defense too, so let's try that out. Water block. Apparently that was too late, weird. Uh, well, that'll still be two turns for upped defense. Oh, okay, he's not transparent anymore. It definitely did not last as long for him as it has for other characters, but we'll try this out. And that does three damage, that's all I need. So you'll give me two more points. They're still giving us a lot of points even though we leveled up, so that's nice. Oh my gosh. So what I'm curious about is, there was still the other pathway downstairs I haven't gone. Maybe I should try that out. Oh wait, the heart. Okay, I grabbed that. We're fine. Ah, oh, I almost got you. Wait, I got him. There it is. The mechanics are just really tough, so it might be worth it to once again do, do Star Storm and then do Tidal Wave, because Tidal Wave actually did like five damage to them, which seven plus five is twelve, so it should do enough damage to destroy all of them. Yep, we we should be good. So let's try this out. Uh. Tidal waves right here. Uh, no, down. A, B, down. A, oh my gosh, oh no. Please do four damage, please do four damage, please do four damage, yes! Okay, that could have been a big problem. But they all drop like three stars each, so there's 12 points for us. We're getting up there quick. Oh my, lots of coins as well. I'll gladly take them. And this is gonna lead to another door, which is great. I definitely wanna check out what's on the door, but if this is the way we're supposed to go to continue the level, I wanna you know, exhaust all of our possible dead ends first, right? That only makes sense. So what's down this way, you know? That's why I don't like when it gets to be a little confusing like that. This has to lead somewhere weird. Uh, let's switch to Goombaria. These stairs aren't light, light, lighted up very well, are they? I wonder how deep below the ground they go. Bowser should really look into some ambient lighting. He usually has it in most other places, but this must not be a very important area to him. Aha, okay. This is a prison cell where toads are being held. You know, there are toads here and beds. It's kind of like a toad house. You think that I'm just incurable op or optimist? Well, what's wrong with that? Can we never like, oh, you know what? Did we ever, no we didn't, okay, I was gonna say, we never got a key to let go of those toads from the beginning, did we? But there are none here. I'm gonna get you. Maybe not. I don't like how he sort of overshoots it every time. Well, that didn't do much. Uh, we should just be able to hit him with this, though. Doesn't that normally work? That does, and then we can switch over to uh, Watt and finish him off. Yep, here we go. Gotcha. All right, well, it's not many points, but we didn't have to do anything extra for it, so fine with me. So here, of course, is a key. You got the prison key, a key to, to, to the prison in Bowser's castle. See, so yeah, how do we unlock the toads that we ran into before, I wonder? I'm not sure, for right now we'll do this. Hey guys, uh, you're free now, whoa. I can come all the way from Dry Dry Desert to Princess Peach's party and look what happens. I have been to some lean parties, but that was ridiculous. I wanna go back to the desert as soon as possible. Mario, you're safe. Oh, I'm so glad. We all got captured before we knew what was happening. A few people at the party were able to get away, but they caught most of us. I wonder where Princess Peach and the, the minister and all the other guests are. I'm really worried about them. We've run into some of them, but we haven't unlocked them yet. Mario, your main goal is to save the princess, isn't it? She must be doing okay, holding on to the belief that you'll come. We soldiers should have broken out to save her by now, but it's taken all of her efforts just to protect the prisoners. What a shame. Psst, psst. The 
Toad House slogan is refresh your body and soul. This isn't a real Toad House, but you can take a quick nap here if you feel like it. Are you gonna take a nap? Yes, please. <laughs> These are difficult times, please rest well though. So nice, we can go back here and heal up whenever we need to. This does mean that some of the enemies are gonna come back, I think, which is sort of, you know, a bit of a pain, but we can get some good experience out of it. Did you sleep well? Then take care and go. Oops, shh, I should be quiet, otherwise they'll find us. <laughs> All right, well that's it for this area. So once again, I don't think I let those other toads free, did I? But I don't have any more keys, so it has to be done later on. I can only imagine. Well, there's that. I'm glad we figured that out because we could also heal and restore our star power. So definitely let's save with all that information in mind and get back up here. So, like I said, those Koopas and those Magic Koopas should all be respawned now if I remember correctly, if that's how it works whenever you sleep. Or maybe not. Oh, okay, maybe I'm wrong. Sweet. In this situation, I love to be wrong. So let's go, what's going on this way? Something for Goombario to talk about, that's for sure that is Spike. Sorry, there we go. I'm sure Bowser's going to be surprised. I'm sure he'd never believe that we can make it this far. I can't wait to see the expression on his face. I mean, I'm pretty sure they would have told him by now that, that we're at the castle, but who knows. Not much going on in this room from this angle. If Bombette were about three times bigger, we could just blow all these walls up. It would certainly let us move through these areas a lot faster. That's probably not a good idea. It would be far too dangerous. That's for sure. Uh, let's keep it moving. And it looks like there's a springboard up there and I would need a key for that. Okay. This looks like somewhere where we, maybe we could swim at some point if we raise the water level. Is that what this is gonna do? I guess so. Caught it. Interesting. So let's quickly switch over then to sushi. and hop right back in. So there's not too much of a place to go to the right. I guess we have to backtrack a little or something. I'm not really quite sure what's going on. Aha, so yeah, we can just keep going through here. And I'm sure there's a place from up over this way, yep. So let's press this button and see what happens. Will this raise the water even more? Oh, it'll give us a spring. And that'll give us something to bomb with Bombat. Yeah, we really are like using every character to do something, and that's really fun. I, I like that the most, is when we actually get to use everybody. Nobody is useless. There we go. So let's press this button, and that is going to open up a hallway. Huh. Where we can raise the water even more. Sure is lots going on. There we go. And we made it. I'm surprised there haven't been any star pieces on the floor panels here in Bowser's Castle yet. Like that hasn't happened at all. So I think if we go back, there's another uh, sushi panel we can jump off of. So that'll definitely be worth a while. Just like that. And we got it. Okay, so this time, that's not what I wanted. Let's move out of the way of that. And sushi is right here. And I think there might be more to the left. Yep. Oh, okay, it's the key. So I wonder how we drain all the water then. We got the castle key, opens a locked door in Bowser's castle. Good question. Because if I go to the left here, I can't really do anything. Maybe I have to re-pull all of the chains. That'd be a little bit time consuming, but it's certainly possible. So let's try that out now. Just going back over here. And giving this chain a yank. Yep, there we go. So I gotta get all the way back down there. All right, so there we go. Let's use this castle key. And we can keep moving. So what is Goombario gonna say about this area then? We're somewhere inside Bowser's castle. The hall is quite large. It also looks well fortified. I wonder if there's anything good around here. An attack item maybe? I guess. Uh, Wrong button, okay, sorry. Uh, I guess it's something Watt can tell us, right? Not quite yet. Oh my, oh, I was hit by a first strike by these guys. Oh, and I tried to block, it didn't go so well. But they actually exploded themselves, so just like previous enemies, these are bull pills of some sort. 
Let's tattle him and find out. A bombshell bill. Bombshell bills have such beautiful gold casings. Of course, if you sit and admire them, you'll get hit. Max HP is three, attack power six, and defense power zero. Pay attention to their HP because their explosions get bigger as their HP drops. Uh, let's take them out before they get near us. Okay, so it would have been better if we just attacked them right off the bat, but I guess I could just do this and get rid of them no problem. And now this guy gotta block his attack. Oh, okay, so luckily our spell is here to lower the damage we might receive. Nice, okay, only one damage taken, that's much better. So we still get the three experience from it. It's really not much, but hey, progress is progress. And I just have to be ready to jump on them whenever whenever the, the situation strikes, because we're mu in a much better place to get rid of them than when we were dealing with them in the uh, Cooper Bros Fortress, because Goombario can just jump on this next one. No problem at all. It's actually some pretty easy experience. There we go. It's not much experience, but still easy experience. And they only drop like a couple of coins at, at a time. I just want to make sure that we're not getting hit by them because that's when things become problematic. Gotcha. And. Gotcha. Okay, three extra points. Let's keep moving. Oh no. Uh, okay, one more to get rid of and then we'll get rid of the actual dispensers of them. The cannons. <laughs> dispensers, that's a weird way of putting it, but it's not wrong. This is actually helping us gain health more than anything, so that's great. Okay, so with that finished, three star points. Let's see if we can't take this actual cannon out. Ready? Hit it. I tried and I messed it up. I was panicking a little bit. So first off, as per usual, have Goombario tattle on it. This is a B-Bill Blaster. B-Bill Blasters shoot a constant stream of bombshell bills, so a bombshell bill blaster. Max HP is 10, defense power four, they won't attack you directly. They're pretty resilient. You have to keep attacking them, though otherwise the air will be filled with bombshell bills, and nobody wants that. Okay, so this is where things get a little complicated, but I think we'll start with a power quake so that we can just hit both of them right off the bat. I did not mean to let go so soon, whoops. That's not good. We're back at the full HP, oh boy. So this is where I could maybe consider some items or seeing how I don't actually have any items that hit multiple targets right now, I could try uh, Star Storm. That should be fine. It should leave both of the other things at one health. So if I just had landed a better hammer strike, we would have been fine. <laughs> there we go. So, it, so, you, bleh. so you know it might be best if we switch because I just don't want them to throw out more things we have to deal with. Let's try Lackalester with his multiple spiny attack, or Spike with his multiple spiny attack. I'm sorry, Spike, I don't mean to use your wrong name. I want to use whatever name you prefer. It's just, I'm also just reading out what's on the screen. <laughs> there we go, 100%, and it does nothing, nothing at all, oh, you're kidding. All right, well, actually, they did nothing at all, too. All right, and now she's gonna help. I would have really used your help the last time I used this move, but hey, better than nothing. There we go, seven damage, that's crazy. Wow, okay, we get lots of points from them. Eight star points, so they gave us three each. Gotcha. Not too bad, so that was some decent experience gain just throughout that whole thing. Oh well, here co comes some more, so <laughs> let's get to it. As long as it's not any more than three of them, we'll be fine. So we'll switch over to Goombario again, just so that we can handle that. I do like the fact that we can sort of just indefinitely switch between them though. That's one of my favorite badges so far. That might be the most useful badge that we have. I mean, we also have the thing that makes us do re or take reduced damage. That's also a must have at this point for me. <laughs> we have some good badges just in general. I've been glad with how diligent we have been. There we go, I made the first strike this time. I don't know if this will even do any damage. It won't really. Huh. How do I want to do this? We could do the power quick again. This time we need to make sure we actually charge it up all the way. Four damage, much better. Doesn't seem like much, because it really isn't a ton, but it's definitely much better. So let's change member, and I think we'll change to Watt this time and see if that does, because it seems like Watt can just do damage regardless of how well shielded they are. And that's the case this time for sure. Oh my, this is where it gets concerning, but I think that 
I mean, we could just get rid of them. The problem is, in that time, what more could we have been doing? You know? See, so let's get that done. And they didn't fire out any more friends. Great. Uh. Oh, that doesn't do any damage at all. Oh, no. Okay, so we'll definitely, for right now, just do Electro Charge on you so that you're just done and over with. Don't have to worry about it. One less bullet bill being produced. And that gives us three more points. Okay, Mario, you do the jumping. Good job. And Watt, you do the electrifying. Very good. So if Mario uses a hammer, I think it would be enough, but we don't even need to do that. So let's make him use focus so that we can get extra star power. We definitely need it. Whenever we can take the opportunity. I need to, to, to take that opportunity, really. And Electro Dash. So was it tough? Yeah, but at the end of the day, we didn't really lose any health. <laughs> so we're fine. And that should get us up to 57, so we're more than halfway now. So we've been getting lots of level ups in Bowser's Castle, and oh, they're gonna drop extra coins thanks to you. Okay. Gotcha. Wait, 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 there's one more. <laughs> there it is. Whoa. Hold on. Okay, well, we landed on one of them. Still not that big of a deal. And I think that, you know, Watt should be able to handle this one if we just want to do it this way instead. That way we don't have to change party members. There we go. <laughs> Good job. So that gets us with the 60 star points. We're getting somewhere. Whoa, they're up there now? Oh no, but they got us this time. And I couldn't block it either. Yikes. Okay, gotcha. And... Gotcha. So it's a bit of a stretch getting up here. It's, it's not easy. Okay, so once again, that's not really gonna do any damage. Sort of unfortunate, but I guess what we could do here, we really need to get rid of that guy, don't we? I wish we could Power Quake and use, I know there's a badge that allows us to do that, right? Maybe not, I think there's a badge that allows our teammates to charge, but we'll do that for right now. I will, I'll Electro Dash this thing, I think and then do another, oh my gosh, this is tough, no matter what. Oh, we're gonna get a lot of star points here though. If we just do, let's just do Star Storm. It'll be fine. Okay, you got it. There we go. And three points from them, and one point from that guy. So there's an extra 10 for us. Looks good. It always gives us so many coins, too. It's crazy that, you know, they doubled it that one time. So I'm going to try to jump them if I can, because it just, it's its very time consuming. And we got him with the hammer, so that should do at least some damage. No, it doesn't. Oh my gosh. You know what, once again, Star Storm. Star Storm again. Maybe I should have waited until the bolt bills actually did something, or they, they threw out bolt bills. I think we'll be fine, though. Throughout the Star Storm, we need to get rid of the Magic Koopa first and foremost. So we can do this. And then, if you want, want, which I, I hope you do, <laughs> you can take out the Magic Koopa. And will he, still he, will he still drop three points? Just two, that's still really good. Okay, we got all these guys again. And once, once again, we'll just jump on them and take them out. Because the Bull Bill launchers can only launch Bull Bills every other turn. So we should be in the clear with that. And I think using a hammer blast on you, just like, or a hammer strike, a hammer slam, whatever you wanna call it, should do some damage, not enough. Let's get you. Ah, uh, I really messed that up. That was embarrassing. So once again, play it safe. Okay, weird time for extra damage, but I'll take it. Thank you and same deal to these guys. Okay, so yeah, we've gotten quite a lot of points here. That's for sure, and we're about to get a little bit more. Oh, I can actually walk up and hammer either of them. Interesting, I didn't know that. Well, maybe I should have gone for the other guy then, but that'll drop three more points, so we're gonna get another 10 here. Maybe actually a little bit more than that. Ooh. 
So while the game has been getting significantly more dif difficult, we have been leveling up a lot too. So it's a pretty cool balance. We get 12 star points there. Oh boy. Bunches of coins and hearts and everything. And what's this way? Well, actually, didn't... Wait, hold on. Before we fight you, didn't Goombario talk about there being an item around? Is there or not? I guess we should walk around with Watt the whole way through and see if I can't find anything. So I checked and nope, there's no item at all. So <laughs> don't know what Goombario was talking about, but we're fine. We can just head back up this way and see what's going on in here. There's the dry bones. Look at all these carvings of Bowser's ugly mug. It's really shameless. I guess he thinks he's cool. Hey, incidentally, about those stone pedestals. Some move and some don't, so check them all out. I definitely will. I'm just trying to dodge these dry bones and get a start on them. There we go, got the first strike on this guy. So will he work like he does in the main Mario games where he can fall apart but then come back? This is a dry bones. Dry bones are skeletal remains of Koopa Troopas. Max HP is eight, attack power four, and defense power two. Just when you think they're beat, these guys rise back up and attack again. You're going to have to beat them all at once. Or you could use fire attacks. If they become ashes, there's no way they'll recover. Hmm, so I might give that a try then. Because for right now, I don't know how much the hammer will actually do. Because I think they have higher def defense. It does four damage, yeah. I blocked it. I blocked it. Okay, so let's switch over real quickly to Cooper and do that fire shell. Oh, almost did it the wrong way again. Wow, 16 damage. Way to go, Cooper. That was amazing. And they give us four points each. That's crazy. Okay, note taken. Oh no, here comes another one. Oh, <laughs> I thought that could actually work too. Okay, so for this one, We'll start with the fire shell. I don't know how much damage it'll do to the other guys though. So I'll try this, it does only three. Mm. But we can knock him over, it should be fine. Uh, with power quake, just like this. It'll only do four damage, not enough to take them out, but close enough that we can jump on them or just at least hit them with a hammer. Okay, hammer just like this. Gotcha. And I hope that this works. <laughs> With uh, Cooper, I think it would, but who knows anymore. Actually, let's just be extra safe with it and use Watt. You never wanna mess with that, do you? Uh, so, Electro Dash, just like that. And we gotcha. Easy. And that is actually a level up. I was not expecting that. <laughs> that sort of snuck up on me. So there we go, level up. Uh, I guess we'll upper HP. Yeah, I still have extra badge points to spend, do I? Do I? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, we do. What do I want to do with those? I don't know, there's a lot of options and I don't really know which one's the best. I feel like I want something that can help us jump on spiked enemies. Which one is that? Um, I thought that there was one that would allow us to do that, but I don't know. I'm not quite sure. There's group focus, which could be good. Dodge master makes the action command work more frequently. That might be useful for how bad I am at dodging. You know what, sure, why not? It's been there for a while. We have one point, maybe if things get really bad, we can have power rush and last stand. That way it'll be just ultra powerful for when things go south. And there's a super mushroom, glad to have that. Let's hold water around because yeah, I, th I thought so. There's another item right here. So with that being said, let's try pushing some of these blocks. That one opens up a door. But what about the other two? Not that way, at the least, and not that way. And how about this one? Nothing, so it's only this one door. Okay, note taken. Whoa, this corridor has much lower ceilings, huh? I guess I had gotten used to the really high ceilings. Me too. It's not much for Goombario to actually do here, so we should be fine with switching over to Watt and holding him out. There we go. I'm not seeing too many enemies or anything. Very simple room. Hmm. Okay, here's some more enemies. Gotcha, made the first strike. It doesn't do much, but it could've. It really could've. I think that was a good time for Power Quake. And then, 
Actually, what would have been, I mean, it's still fine. Let's use Cooper. Change member over to, not Goombaria. Okay, we're fine. Remember, don't worry about it. We can switch any amount of times. And we'll do Fire Shell because I really want to get rid of that Dry Bones. The only problem is it's not going to get rid of everybody. So, I actually don't know if that's worth it because his remains will still be there. Well, no, he'll be turned to ashes, so he's fine. Excellent. Oh, but he's going to run. Darn. Seven star points on the last. Still pretty good. I'll happily grab all of this. And then we are going to switch over to Goombario. In case you don't know by now, some of the Bowser pedestals can be pushed and others can't. In many cases, you can push them from either the left or right sides. I wonder where, where I heard that. I don't know. But I'm sure you were just trying to make sure I don't push everyone from each side. So we can't push that one. There's a save block here too. Hmm. So let's go back over to Watt. I just want to make extra sure if we can get some extra items right now that we take it. So we got to find a key somewhere. Oh, we're healing. There we go, very nice. And what is over this way? More blocks to push. Wait a minute. Now, okay, that one's, I was gonna say, did we go full circle? Oh, I was trying to jump on him, didn't quite work. Here we go again. You know, this time, I think we're using Starstorm this time, but should we? I don't know when we're fighting Bowser is the thing, you know? I don't know if we have a while. I feel like we'd have a good chance to restore our stuff at that point though. Who knows? I guess we'll find out. Either way, gonna launch in a bunch of damage this way. And that gets everybody to five health or lower. So you know what? I think that's enough for Sushi to do some attacks, I would hope. We'll do Tidal Wave. All right then, A, down. A, B, down. Oh, almost got it. Please let it be five damage. Oh, it's only four. So the Hammer Bros remain, but everybody else gets knocked out. Well, actually, oh, that was weird. Oh, not too bad. Oh, but we shrunk. Uh-oh. So now is our, our chance to, I don't know, I guess we really have to. Oh, so Mario can still attack that. Oh, okay, let's give this a try. I think this is the first time we've seen Mario shrunk in the game. Weird. And belly flop on this guy quickly before the dry bones comes back. There it is. Excellent. That'll be three more star points. Yeah, everybody gives so much experience. It's wonderful. And there's a super shroom. We're not filled up on inventory just yet, which is a relief. But just because that way is open doesn't mean there's not another way we can open up. But that's exactly the case. Okay, no taken. Keep looking around for some extra question box. Even though I think at this point we are now full on items. So we just need to keep that in mind before we break any others open. And what about in here? This room is weirdly empty. What say you about this, Goombario? Nothing, this room's just a dead end. How worthless. Let's go back to the room where the pedestals are and check them out. Okay. That doesn't seem right. But I'll take Gubario's tip and see if there's anything else I can do now. Nope. And nope. Weird. There's gotta be something. Oh, so you see, this room was already it was like that, that was already open by the time we came in. That makes sense. So what's going on this way? Aha, here's the key. We've certainly seen many kinds of treasures uh, on our adventures, haven't we, Mario? There's one thing, one, one that I would uh, value above all others though. I would keep it in the safest place I know. Mario, please give me your autograph. Now's a weird time to ask for it, but maybe later. We got the castle key, so we can use that to keep moving forward. That's good at the least. So let's keep it moving. Uh, oh yeah, I was like, wait, where's the door? We gotta go all the way back now. It's a little bit of a confusing area, to say the least. We don't need to heal, we're still at full health. We should just be able to roll this way. We can save, and use the castle key. So let's keep it moving. 
Again with the Bowser faces. I'm sick of looking at this guy's mug. Let's find the real Bowser and show him who's boss. And then I can meet Princess Peach. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh gosh, this guy again. Rawr, who would have thought you would could, you could make it this far? You won't make it any farther because I, because unfortunately for you, I won't let you pass. <laughs> but I guess if you really want, I'll give you one chance because I know there's no way you'll make it anyway. Want to give it a shot? Sure. <laughs> this is completely pointless, but I suppose I'll let you try. Because of course, I have such a kind and generous heart. Just joking, worm. <laughs> now, Mario, do you want to know what I've got in store for you? Yeah. Now for a little quiz. Several of my followers will come out here. Your job is to carefully keep track of their numbers and colors. Then you'll have to answer my questions correctly. Quite frankly, we both know that this is impossible, but if you get five questions right, I'll let you go through here. You're allowed only two mistakes, though. For ha ha ha, fool that you are, you'll likely make three mistakes and suffer the dire consequences. Let's get going. Oh my, so what do we got going on? Um. So there's three of the purple Koopas, four Goombas. Time's up. Am I supposed to know? Now, tell how many Koopas there are. Three purple Koopas. I'm trying to keep all the information in my mind right now. Grr, you're right. That question must have been way too easy. Now they'll be harder. Next question. Oh, okay, it's, it's totally different. Okay, three red, four blue, and four yellow. Three red, four blue, four yellow, or no, four green. I, I meant green, but I said yellow. Time's up. I thought that we were gonna pay attention to like which doors they came through. We might still. Now, which were the three of? Red. Yep. You're right. All right, what's the next question? All right, two bob bombs, two red shy guys, four blue shy guys. That's not too bad. Time's up. Now, who came out of the middle entrance? Oh, I knew that was coming up. I think it was red shy guys. Please let me be right. Yes, okay, so we've gotten three correct so far, which means if we lost the next two, I think we would still win. That question must have been too easy. Now they'll be harder, because it was only five questions, right? And he said we could lose two. Goomba, three shy guys, four Koopas. Two Goombas, three blue shy, guy, shy guys, one green shy guy, four, four Koopas, four Koopas. Yeah, okay. That's tough to keep in mind. Now, how many Goombas were there or two? Yes! Grr, right answer. Ah, I can't believe you've gotten four questions right. All right, enough of this. I'm gonna quit messing around and ask you a really hard one. Next question. One Goomba, one purple, one red Koopa, and the, the Goomba went through the center door. The two Koopas went through the right door. But now they went to different doors. Did you see that? Now, how many arms did you just see? Four, two on each of the Koopas. Yep. That was a bit of a weird trick question. Grok, correct. I can't believe it. You got five of my super duper brain busters right. Grok, I've been defeated by Mario. Oh, the shame. Well, there we go. We got every question right too. That's awesome. All right, well, there's nothing more we can do here. Let's talk to him. Can we go? Yes, we can. Whoa. It's the outside of Bowser's castle. Even the outside feels gross and ominous. Maybe he wasn't so bad until he moved here. Living in such a dang place isn't good for the soul. Maybe, who knows? I wish we knew more of Bowser's backstory, but there we go, there's a super shroom. What's going on with this one? Oh, but now I'm full on items. I don't think I need a pal block. I gotta be honest. I don't think I need a pal block. Oh my, I wish I had a pal block. <laughs> Okay, well they attack me first, but we should be okay here, I think. If we have you switch over to Cooper, we could do Fire Shell. Come on, come on, come on. 
Uh, I don't know why I did that so badly that time. Okay, so I don't know if we'll be able to do quite enough damage to take him out, but I'm certainly going to try here with the normal hammer. Three damage. Yeah, couldn't quite keep up with that. Oh, I tried to block it. It's crazy that the dry bones drop four stars out. That's a crazy amount of experience. And there we go. There's going to be one more. So that's nine. Yep, nine. Not too bad. Up to 25 star points already. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. So we're going to get extra coins from all that, too. The, the spell will increase the number of coins you win. Well, thank you very much for all that. That is a lot of coins. Let's grab them before they disappear. No problem. You know what? I should probably... Maybe I should just... Well, actually... No, I'm actually good on both health and FP, so... I don't know what that is. We can save it for later. Gotcha! Ha-ha! <laughs> it didn't do anything. So let's start with... No, no, no. Quake Hammer. And from there, we should be doing quite well. I could... Switch over to Watt. That wouldn't be a bad time to, uh... Tattle on one of those guys, too. Got it. But do we really need to? I feel like I want to for completionist's sake. I know we haven't tattled everything, but we've tattled most nearly everything. I think the only things we didn't tattle were like certain boss fights when I didn't realize I could tattle on them. I don't know if it's worth it right now, though. Gotcha. And maybe I'll just do this. Okay. Gotcha. Actually, no. Now if we switch over to Goombario next turn, we, we could definitely tattle. Like I said, just for the sake of it. All right, I knew we would get our chance sooner or later. It's a bony beetle. They're bony buzzy beetles, hence the name. Max HP is eight, attack power three, defense power four. It's tough to damage them. When their spikes are out, their attack power is five. When they retract their spikes, take the opportunity to flip them over. After that, beating them will be a breeze, which is exactly what we've been doing for the most part. So let's go ahead and jump and jump. But it's much easier now that we can see their health, you know? Obviously, we knew they were low anyways, but just having the extra clarity is always going to be useful. And that'll be some extra health, extra coins. And there's another jam and jelly. Once again, I don't know if that's worth it right now, but soon. If I could just beat up some more enemies first. Okay, here's a Magic Koopa. No, you don't. Come on, swoop down at me. I don't think he will, yikes. Oh, and I did a bad job there. So this is where things get a little bit scary, but we can do to start is we could, honestly, yeah, we could just jump on you twice like that. Uh, oh, actually, how much health does he have left? Five. Let's hope this does five damage. I think it does, but I can never remember. Five damage, six damage, thank you, awesome. And there we go, a load more experience. 10 more right there. Give me more dry bones, they're a breeze. Oh, here we go again, get him. Okay, well I might as well start it even instead of him getting an advantage. So this is where things become problematic again, but I think we can do this. Let's actually switch back to Goombario. If we can make that Magic Koopa fall, that'll make this all so much easier. He might actually end up running away here. We'll have to wait and see but we'll use Power Quake. Honestly, we have had next to no FP trouble. I start, I'm starting to feel like we should have, ow, maybe kept with the more expensive one. Either way, not too big of a deal. We can just go with this again. Gotcha. And there we go. So now we can actually use some of those items and be in the clear, and then we can pick up some other ones in, instead. So I might just do that right now. Because, hey, the items are made to be used. So we'll use a maple syrup. And also a super shroom. And that won't get us up to full, but pretty close to it. So back over this way. There we go. Got the jam and jelly. And this question block right here has another super shroom. Well, thank you very much. I think this is definitely where it'd be good to have Watt out. It looks like I didn't miss anything just yet, from what I can tell. 
but it's always good to make sure. Okay, heading up here. I'm sure we'll run into more Magic Koopas soon. Trying to be ready for that. Or not, okay, we're in the clear. Let's keep it going. What is going on in here? First off, Goombario, you wanna tell me about it? Cause sometimes they can give us a good heads up. How many halls have we been through? I wonder what this one leads to. The Bowser's room, maybe? I'm not sure. If maybe, I don't know. The last time we ran into one of these, we if we went straight across, it was sort of the dead end, so I wanna do that again. And see what we can get done this time. It's another castle, or not castle, but jail cell. Ooh, that missed. But this won't, thank you. And that won't do any damage, but uh, this certainly will. Okay. And then switching over to Goombario, we're actually going to turn him into Watt. And as per usual, it'll be a one turn takedown, so that's nice. Ooh, gotcha. Okay, one experience, it's not much, but at least we just don't have to struggle with using any FP or really just any resources. There's another prison key for us, and we can heal all the way up here. Awesome, so here's our prison key, just use it on this and save these guys. Oh, there's a little penguin in here. Yeah, that's right, there were penguins at the party, weren't there? I totally forgot about that. If I'd known this was going to happen, I would have, have, go would have gone home with Mayor Penguin. I wish I'd wake up in Shiver City and never have to leave again. <laughs> I dream of sweet shaped ice treats every single day. Don't worry, I'm saving you soon. I mean, the castle's open, you could leave. But I guess we're still in the air, aren't we? Oh, Mario, thank you for coming. It's so good to see you. All the prisoners got split up, so it's just been us four. Are the others all safe? Please don't say we're the only ones you've saved. I hope this whole horrible mess will be over soon so we can have a reunion with everybody. Mario, good work finding us. Thanks for coming. I can't believe I was captured so easily. How shameful. I bet Princess Peach is being held under heavy security. Please save her. This is a makeshift toad house. The toad house slogan is refresh your body and soul. I know it's not a great house, but plenty of sleep will heal you no matter where you happen to be sleeping. Will you take a nap? Yes, I will. Okay, so let's get to it. Just gonna snooze it up a little bit. <laughs> so it seems like there's still more of the castle to explore, just keeps going and going, but I'm glad we're making some good progress. Yep, I slept as well as I could on a stone slab bed. So we're back out this way. We've already gone to the right, so let's go back up and see what we can do from here. Maybe there'll be another shop over this way. Or it might be like a mirrored version of what we've already explored. So maybe we should go the other way first. See if there's a shop there. We don't have, well actually we have a decent amount of coins. I'd rather not spend too much of it and seeing how we're basically full on items anyways, we might not have to, but let's take a look. It's a covered hallway in Bowser's castle. There's no place to hide around here, that's for sure. Not that we need need one, Mario. Who's Who'd hide? Not me. All right. So yeah, what's this way then? Oh my gosh, you ran right into me. How embarrassing. So this actually shouldn't be too bad. We'll do Power Quake. But both directions had enemies. So I really don't know which way is the best way to go, really. We'll try this for now. Uh, and I guess I could just head bonk you, get you down to four HP. So if we do another, oh, I tried. Oh, and we shrunk again, darn. Okay, you know what? This might be just a good opportunity to do Starstorm. <laughs> because I don't know which way goes which way. We'll definitely be backtracking anyways, so yeah. But yeah, that's the whole point. We gotta explore all around. Plenty more star points for us. Okay, and we're no longer shrunk. But I think that one badge that's like widening or at least increasing the amount of times we can dodge, I think that's certainly helping to some degree. So there's a door up here, but what about down this way? Oh, there's another. <laughs> Probably should have been a little bit more careful. Okay, first off, switch over to Goombario so that we can knock this guy down. Not too bad. And at the least, we can power quake here. Gotcha. Now that guy might run away. They're all gonna attack me though, so maybe not the best idea. Got it, okay. Oh, okay, he healed himself. 
So you know what? Hmm, how do I wanna do this? I could do Star Storm again. It gets them pretty low, not all the way. And then maybe we could just have Cooper take out the other two. Because I have a feeling we're gonna backtrack. But for right now, we're just raining this down. And we get some happy HP, that's cool. Well, if we're backtracking, maybe I should just do this then. I don't know, <laughs> we'll get something done. They're still dropping two HP that, which is great. I can never get all of them. Okay, we're getting this guy just like that. So with that done, what else do we have going on around here? We got some extra health. And this door right here has a lock on it. Now things are making a bit more sense. So what's going on up here? Maybe a way to get the key? Uh, not immediately. I saw that guy, I just, oh, press the button. Whoa, okay. Oh, I see what we gotta do there. Well first, let's deal with the magic Koopa if we can. Whoa, come on, really? Okay, fair is fair, we can handle this. Change to Cooper. This will get rid of the dry bones real quick and also maybe even allow us to get rid of the magic Koopas in the first turn depending on how much health they have left. Okay, five. So maybe it'd just be best if I were to jump on one of them, the other one will flee. We got it though. Yeah, that's good. See ya, buddy. Okay, more progress for us. <laughs> Cooper's so excited, that's cute. Okay, so Cooper being out is actually quite coincidental because we can stand right here and have him press the button for us. So what's going on this way? Here's the key. Excellent, we got the castle key. So I'll, I will open that one door, but that definitely seems like the way I'm supposed to go. So I might just actually go the other way first. Okay, so let's see what's to this room to the left. Oh, I almost got him, but not quite. Okay, so Cooper can definitely give this guy a hard, a hard time to start things off. Fire shell, come on. No matter what, this will probably make the magic Cooper run away. Unless we could do the six damage. We could, yeah, they're not extra defense. Let's give it a try. So this is probably a dead end I'd expect. But there's another 10 experience for us. Okay, not bad. This castle keeps going and going though. I'm actually a bit surprised with how long everything's been. But I'm determined to beat the game today. So how do we do this one? Because that won't be too helpful. Huh. Because Cooper won't like fall over or anything. Oh, maybe Bombat, oh, I see. So let's see, yeah, jump across. Oh, that's tricky, so yeah. Put her across like that, jump over here. Wow, that's something else, isn't it? And that just gave us a super charm, which is great, but I can't carry anything more. What should I drop? Maybe getting rid of, maybe, yeah, maybe it's time to get rid of the Tasty Tonic. I mean, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe Bowser's main ability is, is to shrink everybody. But that was actually more of a dead end than I was expecting. I thought it was gonna be maybe like we'd get a key or some item that would help us progress the other areas, but not even that. So we should just be good to keep moving forward. I mean, we have some like loss of HP and FP, but I don't think enough for me to warrant going all the way back. So we're just gonna open up this door and see what happens. Castle key. And I guess there's still just more to go. All right, Kumbario, tell us about this area. All the torches hanging over there. Doesn't their pattern strike you as some sort of suspicious? It's almost as if there's a hidden meaning there. What do you say we try to remember it? Okay. So it goes like up, down, down, up, down, up. I think I can remember that. Up, down, down, up, down, up. Where are we going specifically here? Is this gonna be locked? It's not. Oh, you know, this is the pattern. It's just like one of the old Mario games. They would have the castle where you have to go down certain ways. So it was up, down. I see what's going on now. So we wanna go across this way. Yeah, that's cool. So then it should be up. It was up, down, down. Up, down, up. So here's up. So now we just alternate. I think we got it. It's not really playing a ch chime. 
to tell. I was like, oh, you got it right, or oh, you got it wrong. Oh, we did it! Awesome! First try. And this is a corridor of sorts. I guess it's more like an elevated skyway, though. If a guy were afraid of heights, his legs would probably tremble and he'd probably freak out. Oh. Okay, so we have more enemies to take on over this way. I wouldn't mind switching over to Cooper and seeing if we can't get like an advantage hit on him. There we go, Mink. making that first strike with Cooper then and does no damage. Great. How do I wanna do this then? I think we'll have Cooper change over to Goombaria so that we can head bonk this guy in the back. And we actually did the six damage to him. Sometimes when Goombaria does the farther jump, I have a bit of a trouble actually landing it. This time, not too much of an issue. Okay, so that knocks those guys out for this turn, and also, uh, Magikoopas have a little bit lower health. Oh, they're healing each other, though. How is all of their health doing now? Oh no, oh no. Is he making one invincible? I don't like it when they do that. It still might be worth it, though, to do Starstorm. Just get rid of the other Magikoopas to make sure they don't do that again, because it's not fun when they do that. Come on, you got it. Nice. Uh, for a second, I thought that one Magic Koopa was invincible, but I think it was just uh, because he was behind the pillar. Okay, so for this, obviously we can't do much. So what might be best is we could switch to bow. Oh, this might be a good idea. And do out of sight, just like this. <laughs> there we go. Nice and protected. Awesome. Okay, so there's still not too much I can do here besides just take the shot, so we're just gonna keep focusing. I really don't like this situation when this happens, but we'll do what we can. All right, uh, okay, now he's back. Oh, I tried to block it, I didn't do a very good job. All right, so the hammer, I don't know if this will do enough to get rid of him. Ah, not quite, so I don't know if Bo can do enough damage here, so we're just gonna change over to Watt just to be safe, you know? It's the last chapter of the game. If I can be safe, I'm gonna take the opportunity. There we go. So I'm like holding in a sneeze constantly. I don't know what it is. I think it's just the allergies. It's the middle of July. <laughs> I don't know if there's supposed to be more allergies in the summer than there are the spring. Either way, less about me and more about this Kamek who's going for me right now. I think I'm just gonna go and tap him. <laughs> Oh boy, so this one's a bit of a mess. I think that we want to go ahead and once again, get all the Magic Koopas, oh no, on the floor. That's not getting him on the floor. Change member, let's get, hmm, how do I wanna do this? I think we'll just get Goombario to at least get, no, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> I'm so clumsy. But, ow. Oh, and they're all gonna go for me here. That's gonna be painful. And one more over this way. This really might be worth it to... That's gonna lower their attack. Keeps all enemies from moving for a short time. I think we wanna go for this. And then maybe we can switch to a party member that can do a little bit more with all this. I don't know. Okay, wow. Uh, your enemy can't me move now. All right then, so that's a good situation for us to do something with like sushi, I think. Let's try it out. Abilities, tidal wave, let's go for it. B, down, B, A, B, down. Okay, that might've been better than normal. And that's six damage, yeah, we don't normally do six damage with that. So I might just go ahead and throw out a star storm now. I mean, they do have two turns, or they're not, uh, gonna be able to do much, so. Maybe it's just better to do this. Save at least some star ability, because we never know what we're gonna go against. Gotcha. All right, and there we go. So that's a lot of experience for us, for sure. I think we're close to a level up. Eh, sort of, kind of. We're, we're most of the way there. And there's eight more star points. So the battles have been tough, but they give us so so much rewards that it's definitely like worth it. Oh no, <laughs> speaking of which, luckily it didn't start with an attack at the least. Okay, so definitely what I think might be best here. There we go, we made the jump. We need to double jump on them for them to fall off their brooms. Then we can switch over to Cooper and he can do a little bit. 
Uh, Cooper's right here. Abilities, fire shell, let's go. Got it! Yeah! Okay, so obviously, Cooper bros are still here, the, the hammer bros. But that's sort of to be expected. Okay, I blocked it. Blocked it. And blocked it. Cool. So maybe this time I could, yeah, I think I have to combo Power Quake with Cooper's ability. But that should be fine. So actually, we probably don't even need to do the fire one this time. We could do just the normal Power Shell. Excellent. Okay, not bad. And there we go, there's 11 points. We're so close to a level up. Yeah, we're definitely just gonna keep pushing. Extra HP, tons of coins. And there was still another way to go through all this, you know? So like, I don't know if I should backtrack to that soon. Oh, you know what, I'm going to. If this has the heal, then something big is about to happen. So I'm glad to have gotten the heal. Let's find out what the other direction had for us because at this point, I have no clue. I was right down this way, right? Oh, you know what? Would this bring us, oh, I see. Okay, well that was a waste of time, <laughs> sorry. All right, so we're back again. We'll have Gumbario talk about this area a little bit. You know, if I were designing a castle, I wouldn't put in so many corridors. Well, whatever, he can't make some Bowser have good taste. I mean, I know his taste in food, he likes a lot of meat and cheese from the Mario and Luigi games, he would eat a lot of that. <laughs> Anyways, oh, he's Bowser's inside story. What is going on here, Princess Peach? Oh, Mario, you came to rescue me, thank you so much. This is a trek, this is a trek. Oh, me? Oh, I just saw a chance to get away from Bowser and I ran. There's no need to fight him because I'm already safe. See, no need to fight, let's hurry up and go home. I'll be right behind you. I don't know, I, oh, he won't let me past? What's going on here? Huh? She, she's not very quick. What if I go through the door though? What's going on here? I don't know how to, oh, hey! You can get back here, it's on the Duple Ghost. I know your trick this time. Ouch, ow, how could you? You're so cruel, Mario. Why do you want to hurt me? I'm going to tell King Bowser you're treating me like this. No, ow, stop it. Wait, I didn't mean to press A so quickly. Oh, what? What's wrong, Mario? A suspicious guy? I, I didn't see anything. Maybe it was your imagination. Huh, you what? You want to save the people in the Peach's castle? Who cares about them? I said, cut it out. Oh. Ah, shoot, I wonder how you saw through my disguise. It was perfect. Well, I guess there's nothing I can do about it. Now, I'll just beat you up instead. Doesn't matter how good the disguise is if the context on which you're disguising yourself is a little weird. Okay, now this is a battle where we wanna go all in. This is a lot of them. It's a lot of duplicosts. We're gonna throw in the, uh, the, the shooting stars. And if we want to, if we wanna try this a little bit different this time, what we could do is we could switch to bow. Well, that might not be the best idea. Oh, let's wait and see. Um, I was saying like to make ourselves invincible. Well, that could still work. You know what? I don't know. <laughs> uh, it might just be worth it to take the damage. Depending on how much damage this does. Will this do eight each? It'll do seven. I was hoping it would do eight. I only did seven, that's fine. So he's gonna transform. The transforming's not too big of a deal. When they do that though, it's a bit of a problem. I just have to pay attention to their animation. If they're, you know, getting ready to jump, I just gotta be prepared to dodge. Okay, so this is where it's actually quite easy. Switch over to, well actually, once again. I don't know when we'll get the chance to charge up our star power again, so. Because we just got a healing block, and that's awesome, but that's a whole lot different from a, uh, a sleeping spot where we could maybe restore our star power. So I might just have to keep up with this, even though we are about to get a level up. I think, well, yeah, we will. I don't know if we'll get it from this battle now. Cause I don't know if these guys are actually tough enough to drop experience anymore. They're not. So no experience for us for this battle. That's sort of a shame. They didn't drop anything. Okay, well, definitely heal up because the heal block is right here. Might as well, right? There we go. And let's get back in there. So what's next? Wow. Blah! <laughs> How in the world did you get this far in the castle? Congratulations. 
But this is the end of your adventure, I'm afraid. I've got much better defenses than the other guard doors do. Your luck has just run out. Come on, boys. Whoa, it's the Koopa Bros again. Hey, guys. Here come the Koopa Bros. I bet you never thought you'd see us again, huh, Mario? You do remember who we are, don't you? <laughs> what if I said no? <laughs> what? I just said we were the Koopa Bros, Mario. How can you not remember us? Now they're going to beat you within an inch of your life. Feel like running away, worm. Tell you what, if you beat them, you can go through here. Of course, you'll fail. But at least you can try. <laughs> Don't think we're like before. We've increased our power beyond our wildest dreams. After you trounced us, we learned a new technique and trained all day, every day. We're not just the Koopa Bros. We're the super ultra mighty Koopa Bros, the great. Check out our coolness, huh? Ah, I found you, Mario! Whoa, it's Junior Troopa! Oh my gosh! He knocked them all flying! Dwah! At last, you're mine! It was p a pain finding you, you know. Today, at long last, I'll settle my score with you. So we're not fighting the Koopa Bros at all. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Here it comes, Mario! This is the final fight. Only one of us is walking away from this battle. Okay, so I'm just trying to gather, what should we do from this one, just to start with? We don't really have too many offensive items, most of it, except for the mystery bag, but I'll leave that for when we're in a really big bind, I think. So we really should focus on very damaging direct attacks. So I'll probably actually change out of Cooper and into somebody either like, we could do Watt again, that might be a good idea. You know what, yeah, let's do Watt. Change member to Watt. And the first thing we can do is we can, we could try Mega Shock. Sure. No, wait, I'm pressing the wrong button. I'm trying to get ready for it. Come on. That is really tough to do, but it does stun him for two turns. Excellent. Only problem is that those turns go by fast. So we're gonna have to hit him with the hammer as soon as possible. Well, actually, first things first, we should turbocharge Mario. There we go. All right, Mario, hit him with the hammer as hard as you can. Five damage. How much health, oh, you, we should probably tattle on him as well. We have no clue how much health he even has. So, switch over to you, back to Goombario, and we'll give him a tattle, because he probably has like close to like 70 or 80 HP, I can only imagine. And what also, what happened to his bat wings? <laughs> they went away. It's Junior Troopa again, my man. The little guy still has some eggshell left on his body, aw. Quite a lot of it, actually. Max HP is 60, attack power eight, and defense power two. Whoa, he's been working out. He looks as tough as he may be able to, uh, he looks as though he may be able to change his shape too. You've gotta love this guy's effort, Mario. To follow us all the way here, what dedication. Come to think of it, how do you think he got here anyway? <laughs> well, he did have the wings, remember? Don't know where they are now, but. Gotcha. So he's probably gonna attack this time. Uh, I did block it, I was gonna say, darn. But no, we got it. So we still have extra damage here, so I'm trying to make the most of that. I don't know if this would actually be better or not. Eh, it's more or less the same. So let's switch characters again. Because Kumbario would probably be able to do the same four damage, at least with that. But with somebody like Sushi, maybe we could do Squirt and see how much damage this does. Gotcha, five damage. So more or less the same as anything else. Darn it, okay, try this on for size. Ultimate power! So this is where he's going to get his shell. And that sure becomes a bit more of a problem. Oh my gosh, wow. But it still did hurt him a little bit. And this is where it's not really worth it to use too much here. So I think what we'll do is now is a great time to either try timeout or we could just try Star Storm. Maybe we'll be a little bit more direct with it. We'll try Star Storm. We will also go and do, uh, what is it called? Uh, the, the, the squirt ability again. That should be good. So there's seven damage right to him. And try this out, out a little bit. Because it doesn't matter that he has you know a spike or that he's flying, we can still do direct damage to him like that. Oh my. I blocked it. It's still a lot of damage, but we blocked it. Your attack power is returned to normal. That's not too much of a big deal. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's see if we can lull enemies. I don't know if we could, not with him. So what should I do here? Hmm. I don't know what we should do with Mario. 
We could just use focus so that we can use another one next turn. I'm That might be my best bet for right now. This is a bit of a predicament, isn't it? Okay, uh, let's do Squirt again. And as long as Mario can survive for a bit. Shoot! Okay, maybe something else. How about this? Whoa, oh yeah, that's right, he has his magic ability, which actually, this makes everything much easier. I'm fine with this. So we'll do, we'll do um, the Star Storm still, because it's still the most damaging thing we can do. Oh boy, here we go. Got him. And this should be enough experience once we beat him to get a level up too, so I don't have to worry too much about restoring anything. We just gotta keep at him. Gotcha. Ah, you've still got some skills. Oh my, oh my. Whoa, I was not expecting that. He's so powerful now, I'm so proud of him. He really has made it a long way, hasn't he? Anyways, let's hit him with maybe this last hammer. Not quite, okay, finish him off, Sushi. You got this. Belly flop right there. Boom. Not bad. And that got as well, plenty of experience. Not only do we get a level up, but we get a decent chunk into our next level already. Awesome, level up. So I might just up my HP again, even though the HP is a pretty good chunk ahead of the FP, we haven't been using that much FP. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Don't you think you've won, Mario? I swear to you, I'm going to beat you so bad next time. Gosh. Um, so since you beat the guy that beat the Koopa Bros, does that mean that you beat the Koopa Bros? No, you beat him, he beat them, but you didn't actually lay a finger on, Gah! it's too confusing. Okay, fine. I guess there was no big difference between the guy and the Koopa Bros. You can go through. It's not possible for you to beat King Bowser anyway. I'll let you have the, the honor of being beaten personally by the evil King Bowser, lucky you. All right, well, I guess that means Bowser's next, right? That's super exciting, but also pretty scary. Uh, so let's see what uh, Gubario has to say. This room is one big eco massage for Bowser. I wish it, we could crush all these statues to dust. That's a, maybe a little too aggressive, but let's keep moving forward. Stairs again. Do you think Princess Peach's castle is at the top of them? We're almost there, Mario. I can feel it. Onward, the princess awaits. Oh boy. Here we go again. It has been quite a long journey, and here we are, we're at Peach's Castle. Wow, so maybe this is where we should finish it off. I don't know how much more is left. We've been going for over an hour now, so you know what, I think that's true. We're gonna leave it right here. Next episode, we'll go and face off with Bowser and see who the true victor will become. For right now though, that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Paper Mario. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.